Hello guys, welcome to another video and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a simple Barbie box effect on your images. Now this may make your image look dramatic but of course some clients do like a little bit of drama. If you find this video helpful in your photography, you can like, subscribe and drop a comment for more content like this as I will be dropping a template for free to download. You can check the link on the description to download the file and also browse through my digital store to purchase my items to improve your image quality. Now I'm assuming you took the photo on a pink background but if you did use a random background you can carefully crop it out and then replace with a pink background but for mine I used a grey background with a pink gel on it so I kind of like the effect this is giving me right now. So now this is our image template. This is the Barbie box template right here. And this is our image. And I'm also assuming you're already done with your retouching and color grading. So this is just like the final touch on the image. We're going to drag our image to the template background. And we're just going to drop like so. You can see our image exceed the background. You can just drag to adjust your image. Make sure this icon here to maintain aspect ratio is clicked so you don't distort your image. So I'm just going to drag the image just like so and zoom in and click yes. Now I'm going to put this image just behind our template. So I'm going to adjust the image to fit the template background like this. And I'll click OK. So once I'm done with this, um, let's just say you didn't shoot on a pink background. You can easily crop out your image out of the background and you can paste it here and also create a background for that image. And to do so, you can go right here. You can use your eyedrop tool, eyedropper tool here right? and just click this pink area here. And now we'll go to adjustment and click on solid color. And we're just going to click OK. You can see it created a background for our image. Now this is for those who use a random background. So you can then bring your image in front of it and just crop your image out and it's going to fall back to this background like so. So now I want to be using the image background as I shot it. I'm just only going to do some few adjustments. So next thing I'm going to do is I want to create a shadow and you can see that the pink shade is a, is a different shade of pink right here so i'm going to create a selective color adjustment layer and just tweak my magentas to give me this shade of pink i'm just going to move my yellows and just tweak them until i'm satisfied with and the the shade of pink i'm looking for and you can see right here we're getting similar shade of pink just like that so right here next thing we're going to do we're going to crop this picture out again from this background because we want to create a shadow so it will look real on this background and now the shadow we're going to create is going to fit in the image the lighting is coming from the right on this my image and the shadow is supposed to be on the left next thing i'm going to do is duplicate this image layer like so and then I'm going to go to select and subject. After selecting your image, next thing to do is just go to control command C and command V. Click on command C and command V to copy and to paste the image. Or you can go to edit, click on copy, click on edit again, click on paste. So now we have our image right here. We have our image standing alone right here. Don't worry, it's not well cropped because we want to create a shadow out of this image. And now we're going to click on command, click on this layer like this, it's going to reselect the image. And now I want to create a new layer and just go to our color right here and click, make sure your color is black. And now I'm going to click the paint bucket and just tap on it. And it's going to look like this on the new layer. Now you can see we have a shadow and we have our image here. So next thing we'll do, pull the shadow behind. You can rename it shadow so you don't get confused. Now it's behind. Next thing I want to do is shift the shadow to the side just a little bit as if the light is coming from this direction. Like so. So I'm going to pull the shadow down just a little bit. 
you can you can work it out with the way your picture is you can put your shadow both right or you can put your shadows on the right or the left it doesn't really matter but if your image is looking like this and your lighting is coming from a direction i suggest you follow the direction to create your shadow so now a uh, shadow is just like this the next we'll do we'll go to filter and then to blur and add some gaussian blur so it doesn't look too it has to look like a shadow so i'm just going to take this up to when it's a little bit fade out it's just like 8.7 for this image i'm going to click ok i'm going to reduce this opacity just a little bit so it looks a bit real so and just like this we've created a shadow for this our image yeah so it looks very 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 real and looks really nice next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a kind of glass effect on this image now you can see all our layers are here we're not deleting any layer yet we're just working on it so next thing we're gonna do is create a new layer because we want to make it look like a showcase a glass effect on this image so i'm going to create a new layer and then i'm going to select the area i want the glass to look like maybe from this edge here like so and then i'm going to paste a white color on the image like that i'm going to paste a white color like this after doing this, we want to reduce the opacity of this white so it looks dim like so. And then again, we'll create another layer. And then we'll select, we'll click on Command again and select this shape we just created. It's going to be selected. Now we're going to use our polygonal lasso tool and we're going to, we're going to divide this into two. So we're going to make it diagonal and make it look like a reflection so i'm going to click on subtract right here and just it's going to show minus and i'm going to subtract you know these selected areas on this my new layer right here and then i'm going to also paste the white background on it like this so we have two layers we have two shapes so now i'm going to reduce the opacity just like this and see i'm having a kind of glass effect so i'm just going to reduce the opacity like so so it gives me this glass effect so we'll just reduce the opacity until it fits our image and right here we can see our image is looking all glassy and looking real and looking like a baby box effect so yes, I'm going to leave a link on the description to download this template to help improve your image and make your image more dramatic. Yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.